getting out of here. Is there anyone up here? That gave legit goosebumps there. She jumped off the bridge. Are you counting me? Hi. So, um, I'm about to go do rounds um, in this room. Um, we are on the fourth floor. We're in room 401. The fourth floor of the Victor Hotel used to be um, a morgue. Like, they used to keep bodies up here. Um, and there have been some strange sightings. We've talked to uh, the owner of the hotel. We've talked to an employee of the hotel. Um, the owner says he's had some kind of strange things happen around here with... Uh, uh, the elevator and um, some other spaces downstairs, but not really anything big or significant. Um, one employee said that she saw a man um, downstairs, but she really hasn't experienced too much up here. Um, so I guess the goal right now is we are going to focus on this space on the fourth floor as um, something that's potentially active. We know the third floor also has a lot of stories of banging, footsteps, voices in the hallways. So we're going to investigate the third floor hallway as well. Um, we're also gonna investigate the second floor even though there's not any stories really prominent there. And because of the owner and the employee's um, narratives to us, we are going to investigate the lobby and the bar room um, in detail. But before we do all that, one of the things um, you've seen us do before on a couple of episodes, but we do every place we go to is do a general search in the rooms we're staying in. We do this general search um, in the rooms, particularly for anything that gives off um, high EMF readings, anything that gives off um, any, what could be interpreted as unusual sound. So I'm about to do that. Um, we have all of our gear over there ready to go. There's a few things left charging. Um, the real investigation begins in a couple of hours, but we got to get a feel for the room and we got to get a feel for the rest of the hotel. So um, we're going to start here in the room and then we'll kind of expand our way um, to the rest of the hotel. Hello, my name is Scott. Hello, my name is Erica. Um, we're just wondering if you're uh, in here with us right now. If you are, um, you can communicate with us in a variety of ways. You can move something in the room. You can speak up. You can um, come close to us um, or you can go toward one of these two devices um, you see at the foot of the bed. Um, both of them will make uh, changes. Uh, this one's numbers will go up uh, before turning red. And the uh, other device will simply flash different colors. You may go to any one of these that you please. And I was just muting that. Um, and you can interact with us however you see fit. If you're in this room with us right now, would you mind uh, communicating with us through one of these ways? Could you move something in the room or could you go near one of these devices? Did you die up here? Was your body stored up here?
Do you like to hang out in these rooms? Is your name Eddie? So why don't you come and uh, join us on the couch? Come on, and have a seat. It's your couch. Again, we're just visitors here, you know. Just here for a couple of days. Maybe if you don't want to join us on the couch, you want to sit over there at the uh, table, or you want to sit on the bed and talk to us from there. That's fine too. You know, just try to make yourself comfortable. There's your motorcycle outside. Not the covers. Or that is an old truck. Do you enjoy the opportunity to uh, maybe to go to fun study and it's gonna fall? Shouldn't be. This thing is pretty steady. All right, so Eric and I are about to leave the room and we're going to go try to find some ghosts at the Victor Hotel.
uh, these hallways. They uh, have stories on the fourth floor of hearing people walking in the hall. So I figured we would sit around for a little while and just see if we hear anyone walking around in the hall. What I am going to do is I'm going to put this audio recorder, turning it on, and I'm going to put it underneath the door to 301. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this camera. sufficiently oh, I don't like that right there so it should see everything at 301 now this is where we get to have a little bit of fun because there's no one on this floor, so the only people we'd be disturbing are the people directly above us on uh, the fourth floor. If there's anyone else there. So, I am going to set our K2 meter right there. We have an audio recorder there underneath the door. So if you want to hold the audio recorder, um, I can pull up my pants a little. Is it running? Yeah, yeah, it's always running. Um, and I have my other meter right here. Good. And so I have this one. There we go. And so I'm going to walk around and try to get a sense of any energy. So the light up here is giving off a reading. That's important to note. Actually, I want to test. So you got to be right up on it, just a few inches away, and it's not going to read anything. And then these exit signs tend to give off a decent amount. Yep. Fire alarm, maybe. Nope. Light's not giving off anything. So, is the elevator over here giving off anything? It shouldn't. The elevator's not even up here. Good. So, if I get any reading on this, then, or if that K2 meter gives off a reading of any kind, it is the logical conclusion that it's not going to be from one of these electrical uh, devices. Here's another fire alarm. It does give off a reading. Up to about five inches away, six inches away. Floodlights give off a huge reading. I think those are emergency lights. Yeah. And they're giving off a reading up to about a foot and a half away, foot, foot and a half away. So, but again, as far away as I'm going to be from those and from that, from that, and from this, um, if we get anything, it'd be impressive. It'd be above the normal or beyond normal, so paranormal. Eddie, are you in here with us? Eddie? Came to visit you, Eddie. You want to come hang out with us over here? Go ahead and change it. 
That's wild. That's before me. Mm -hmm. How? Unscrew it. You have a twisty thing. It's a red twisty thing. Twist it left. to the hall and just chill with us. I have a device in my hand that you can touch. You can touch my hand. Um, I have a device on the floor that if you stand near it, just kind of stand over there in that corner, it'll uh, it'll activate. That's all there. I'm gonna put. Whoa. Yeah. Are you in here with us? If you're in here with us, go ahead and make those lights go off again. Have you done this before with other people? Like, are you used to these devices? Because if you are, we can straight up have a conversation. Oh, awesome. That's great. Um... So, do you enjoy staying here? We're staying here a couple of days, but we don't really know the place. We were told that you're kind of the expert. So is it a good place to stay? Did you see it go off? Check the audio. Do you have the audio recorder out? Mm -hmm. There's a radiator, I was checking it with the detector, I was feeling it, it doesn't appear to be on, like it's not producing any warmth at all. Has it done anything else? Do you get people tired of coming here to talk to you? Tell you what, if you would like us to leave your hallway alone, you just want us to go to other parts of the uh, hotel, try to talk to other people with our cameras, um, just make that device light up again like you did a second ago. You do that and um, yeah, we will um, we'll go down to the second floor, we'll go down to the lobby, check out stuff in there. 
You just have to make lights go off again. There's one other thing I'm, I want to try before I, we go away though. Nope. Because I was like, it could have been me. When you, because you had walked forward. Yeah, but again, It's not my movements that made it go off. You know, I'm not a small guy. <laughs> so, that's interesting. That's interesting. Well, Eddie, um, we're going to head out of here anyway. We're going to go down to the second floor and see if anyone down there wants to share anything with us and um, just have a have a great night. Um, we'll be back maybe in an hour or two and um, we'll see how you're doing and yeah, that's that's about it. And really, the stories in the lobby here do revolve around the elevator and Eddie. Um, story goes, there was some kids playing in the hotel, and um, one of the kids was laying on the uh, couch, looked up and asked, her parents, who the man in the elevator was. I think that makes a fascinating story. Absolutely fascinating. So, the one thing I wanted to do here is set the camera up just kind of here in the bar and walk away from it for a while. Have enough batteries for that. So there's nothing up here. Nothing moving. Nothing at all. A 
again, um, places in Colorado, there are uh, liquor laws where people are not allowed in a space where they have access to alcohol, which is why this gate is locked. But I did get permission to kind of come up here and look around a little bit. And so my way of doing that is standing here at the gate and just filming over. I'm going to put this here. I hear dripping from the radiator. They've got little buckets next to them to pick up coolant or condensation. Wow, it's pretty windy outside. I'm looking at a stop sign and it is shaking very hard. But I'm keeping the camera trained on the elevator since that seems to be the center of activity. According to the owner of this hotel, uh, it was originally supposed to be built several blocks away, however, the men who were excavating to build the initial hotel struck gold instead. So that became a mine, and they built the hotel here. Which I mean, like, if you're going to build a hotel and strike a vein of gold, that's that's pretty lucky, actually. This is my first ghost hunt, and don't like it, not comfortable. I can see some people getting an adrenaline rush of like exploring the unknown, but honestly, that's just stressful to me. So if there are any ghosts here, you know, maybe like, take a seat next to me, or make the elevator go. I mean, I, logic brain says there are no ghosts, but monkey brain is stressed. Honestly, I think I'll be happy if we don't go up the stairs again, but low-key, I'm kind of nervous about the elevator. So if there is a ghost, please contact me through the... ...hand recorder. That's me. I believe he has the thermal camera on right now. You know, this building is actually pretty impressive because if those glass windows are original, that was expensive as hell back in the day. Those are big. Look at how big those windows are. I'm definitely more of an out of sight, out of mind person.
nah, it's way too old, and it's brick construction. It's hard to put heating and cooling stuff in brick. Especially since this brick, you can see the exposed brick looks fairly original. You see my husband's reflection in the front door windows. Sounded like paper slipping. Heard a tearing noise again. Maybe it's ice. Maybe it's rustling. This is an old building. I've mentioned the elevator is from 1900. Admittedly, for an elevator from 1900, it's actually very fast. So, you see my reflection. Um, I'm just going to show you my reflection on four sides. Um, Okay, this, there we go, there we go, that's a good reflection of me. Um, I'm going to show you this one. Alright, so that's all four sides of me, reflecting. If you see anyone else in here, other than my own reflection, then, uh, maybe I'm being joined by somebody. Eddie, are you in this elevator with me? Would you like me to take you up to your room? I don't know, Eddie. Doesn't feel like there's another presence in here. It just feels like I'm in here talking to myself. Gotta show me you're in here, Eddie. Why don't you bang on one of the uh, elevator walls so that I know you're here? Is that a reflection of my reflection? That is a reflection of my reflection. All right, that was your chance. I'm going to talk to the owner to see if it does that regularly. Because this is the second time it's done that. And it feels like a pattern. Because we were on the third floor the first time it happened. So... <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yes. I can actually hear most of what you were saying in there. Is there anything else you want to say? Else do you want to say?
Are there more than one of you in here wishing me a good night? If the answer is yes, go ahead and make the lights flash again. All right. Um, when I get the number correct, and I'll give you some time. Oh, thanks. Well, if I get the number correct, um, I'll give you some time to uh, flash. Are there three of you in here? Are there four of you in here? Are there five of you in here? So not there's four of you, there's not five. When I was taking pictures earlier, and again, flash slide if the answer is yes. When I was taking pictures in here earlier, thank you. Um, were you trying to show yourself on camera? Yeah. So some of those energy particles I was seeing, they were you? Interesting. Were you a gold miner? Were you a, uh, were you like a saloon uh, manager? No. Tavern keeper, uh, saloon keeper, that's the word I was looking for. Is that your occupation? Was everyone in this room a miner? Yeah. Was it uh was it rough mining out here with TB going around? You know, consumption. Yeah. Did you have consumption? Yeah. Hell of a thing. Hell of a thing. <laughs> yeah. Here's the door.